today. From Heinz Field in Pittsburgh, it's week three of the NFL on EA Sports. as they'll match up with the Houston Texans. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, we look at this Steeler ball club entering play. The losers their last time out, so they'll look to make amends here. And one of the best ways you can do that is to be at home, and they are. They're going to try and ride that home crowd and that wave of emotion to a victory in this one. Meanwhile, for our visitors, the Texans, they were winners last time out, so they'll be looking, Charles, to make it two in a row. And what I enjoyed when I watched their game tape and their victory last week is they put it together in every phase. Good offense, good defense, and some key plays on special teams. Let's see if they can get that second win in a row. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. A bad start there. A big loss on their first play from scrimmage. It's second down. They went with the run-pass option, and I don't know if the option really mattered there because the defense was ready. So many times you put the defense at a disadvantage because you have those multiple options. But when they read their keys and play it correctly, Sometimes the result goes in their favor. As this old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out high. They expected it and got there and popped it free. Third and long, it's Watson. He finds his target, Fuller. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Boy, a nice play there as they wind up converting on third and 15. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. down carry here for Johnson still going Duke the numbers a week ago for Johnson 15 carries 130 in the yardage department and a touchdown too they've got a nice scheme going right now and they run the football pretty well in fact I was talking with him on the field before the game and he said he's starting to hear from the guys ahead of him on the rushing yardage total and they want to know if he's going to jump up there and join them at the top of the list. Maybe I'm wrong, but it looked like even if he had opted to keep that, I don't think there was going to be much to gain. Seemed like it was perfectly defense. And know what they say? Those guys on the other side, they get paid too. This is third and one. Very likely four down territory, even if they don't get it, though. And a throw there going to be incomplete. Well, normally being a big-bodied receiver plays to their advantage downfield. Go up and make the catch take the hit and pick up yardage. But in this case, the hit was timed really well and popped it free from his grasp. Anger is on the punt, and he gets this one away. 
The Steelers take over first and The Steeler ten. offense set to go to work, and once again at the helm, their longtime starter, that's Ben Roethlisberger. And no excitement, unless, he, unless you're on the defensive team of last week, in his numbers, because the only excitement he really generated was the one interception he threw. Yeah, no touchdown passes. Yeah, and his team wasn't real thrilled about that. And they lost the game. So, I know this week has been tough on him because he's been working hard. Fundamentals, footwork, finding the right targets. And bottom line, how did it get a win? And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. The catch and run, good for 18 and a first down. From all the way up at the 38 now after a good start to the drive. They'll run for the first time with James Conner. Now that play is blown up, losing yardage back at the 35. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Brings up second and 12 at the 35-yard line. On second and 12, Roethlisberger. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Here's Roethlisberger. Ebron caught left side. And he can only get this to the 42-yard line. And that is not near enough. Their opening drive here is going to result in a punt. They got seven yards there, but not enough. Good catch there by Eric Ebron. And the Steelers are hoping that they see the 2018 version of this young man. 66 catch, 750 yards, and 13 touchdowns. And that was good enough for second in the league with the Indianapolis Colts. And the Steelers like to throw to the tight end. They hope Ebron is the guy. So now we get set to see Houston for their second drive of the ball game and hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your fate. Leverage guys, win the line of scrimmage. If you do that, you start to win first down. You win second down. And guess what? You start accumulating first down. And that's what they need in order to not punt the ball again. One yard gain brings up second and nine. Watson to give, this is Johnson. So he got three of one tackle, but couldn't do a whole lot else. They follow up the first down one yard run with a minimal gain of two. Not a whole lot there. The defense was ready, it looked, for that run pass option. You get the sense that next time he has that opportunity, he may keep it himself and get to the perimeter. Probably owes his back a little bit of an apology on that one, huh? And that will be incomplete. That looks like it's going to be two empty possessions now to start this football game. I think they're going to have to sit down and talk about what worked for them last week in their win. Sometimes you over game plan, overthink things. Now a hit and a loose football. And the Texans scoop it. And they will bring this one back. A fumble return for a Texans touchdown. Kaimi Fairbairn on for the extra point. And the Texans take a 7-0 lead. So not only the cough-up, but then the pickup on the other side, the scoop, and the score the other way, the fumble return for a touchdown. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. 25-yard line. So Pittsburgh retakes the field for their second offensive possession. Big Ben and the Steelers with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. And from the shotgun, he'll throw. Quick hitter here, it's complete. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and that'll make it second and a foot or so. Options galore here, second and a few inches. Roethlisberger will hand to Connor. And oh, this Texans defense, they're all charged up now. They stop him behind the line for the second straight play. Brings up third down. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Texans seven, Steelers nothing. Heavy set out there on third and one. 
They'll try and run for it with Counter. And he will have a first down as they get into the ground at the 37. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. First and Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Out of the shotgun, they'll run with Counter. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Brought down, right, no gain on the play. It'll be second down. No gain on the play. Brings up second and 10. At the 37. Now they'll throw it with Roethlisberger. And that one got tipped, kind of threw everything off. It brings up third. Incomplete. So much of this game is about leverage. We always talk about low man wins in the trenches. Well, it's like that at just about every position. And sometimes, if you lose that leverage and you're losing the battle, just jump up at the line of scrimmage and try and bat the ball away. And that's exactly what happened there. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. Incomplete. Looks like a second empty possession to start the game. And certainly not the way you want to start when you come in off of a loss last week. Every team talks about starting fast. They're hoping on their next possession, it can be a delayed fast start and get them going. It's a net of 40 there, a punt of 48, and a return of eight. And the Texans will take over with a first and 10. So here are the Texans to take over. They got the victory last week. That was against the Baltimore Ravens, and they have the lead here as well. They begin the drive with Johnson. He'll get about three as he's taken down at the 23. Houston ball carrier. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Terrell Edmonds on the That was good, tough running right up the middle. And if the defense can't penetrate and make him slow his pace or change direction, that's often the end result. They'll run on first down. Johnson takes this one across the 35 to the 36, a gain of about four. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now. Hopefully get to the perimeter later, and let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. But that was an interesting look there, because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defense And that's caught inside the 35. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. That one goes for 30 yards. That is the exact right play call against that defense. So a hat tip to the offensive play caller because he won that part of the chess match. But give credit to his players as well. They won the execution part of it. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. Second down. No gain on the play. Second and 10 at the 34-yard line. Watson off play action. He turned that into a nice game. Gets him eight yards closer for third down. It's a gain of eight, and it brings up third down. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. Once we hit halftime, as we do all season, we'll send it down to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have all the stats and scores from games in progress around the NFL. The best multitasker in the business, the coach. Well, that's a good job there creating the contact to force the incompletion. And now since it's fourth down, that should set up a field goal situation. And a nice sigh of relief defensively to be able to hold him to three. And he's going to get the first down here as he's taken down at the 22. Well, they deemed it four down territory, and they got four yards to pick up the first. First down. From the gun, here's Watson. And that is caught. Touchdown, Texans. Kenny Stills, his first touchdown here of the new campaign. And the Texans will add on to their lead. And it was a tight window. He knew he had to rocket that thing in there. He got it done. And when you're able to complete one like that, your confidence has to just go sky high. You just mentioned it. Tight window, sings it in there despite excellent coverage. Result, Fair touchdown. Fairbairn now to add the extra point. 
And it's good to make it 14-0. The 10-play drive that time. And it results in the Texans finding the end zone. Kaimi Fairbairn to kick off for Houston. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbairn now to kick it away. Here comes Ryan Switzer to return it. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped it to 23 yard line. First and 10. At their own. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. And they're in a bind early here, down 14-0. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your team. You want to make sure that they stay positive. But at the same time, you're wondering, how are we going to move the football? What do we have on this play sheet that can work? Get back to basics is usually your answer. And make sure you find the guy who can move the ball fastest for you if you just get it in his hands. Yeah, still second quarter. You get points on the board here. I think you're feeling okay. Now this pass to Vance McDonald complete. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. 16 yards, a first down. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. Juju Smith-Schuster, the intended receiver that time. But it'll be second down. Second and 10. Second and 10 now, it's Roethlisberger. Now Ben hit, and he lost the football. It's loose. And the Texans say they have it. They do. Deshaun what part do they went empty set there? No bats in the backfield. All receivers out in the pattern. And in this situation, you know what the quarterback has to do? Act as his own blitz control. Yeah, he's got nobody else there to protect. No him. one else there to protect, which means he's got to get rid of the football and absorb the hit and not go down and fumble the ball. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. That's good for a Texan first down, a 12-yard pickup. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. And got his man. It's caught. Touchdown, Houston. Kenny Stills with two touchdowns on the season, both in this game. And the Texans push further out in front. That score that they just gave up there, that's a tough one for their defense to swallow because they've had a tough time through the first two quarters. They really were determined to get a stop there, unable to do so. That makes their comeback hopes that much more difficult. And it is now 21 to nothing. Well, that drive started with not a whole lot of real estate in front of them. And plus territory, excellent field position. Two plays later, pay dirt. Kaimi Fairbairn to kick off for Houston. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbairn now to kick it away. Ryan Switzer on the return. And a good return up past the 30, but was it aided by an illegal block or a hold? Let's see. So that will push him back. And now we know why he had a little extra space to run, don't we? An illegal block in the back, that penalty will move them back. On first and 10, it's Roethlisberger. Got an open man, it's Washington. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down, second and right at a yard. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Ebron with it over the middle. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. The Steelers signal for the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 13 seconds to play in half number one. They'll throw on first down with Roethlisberger. And it's complete. He gets this one to Washington. Now here's a timeout as they're going to get it with eight seconds remaining here in the first half. Facing a second and two after that last catch. Good for eight yards. Throwing again, it's Roethlisberger. And that is incomplete. Stopping the clock with five seconds to go. James Conner, the running back, his intended receiver. And it's third and short. Final play of the half, it's Roethlisberger. He'll take his shot for the end zone. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. 
right, so we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks. And welcome in, everybody, to our EA Sports Halftime Report. Time for a look around the NFL here in week three of the new year. We'll begin up at U.S. Bank Stadium in Minneapolis. And in the second quarter, it's the Vikings who are out on top. Adam Thielen, a touchdown reception. From there, let's head off and check out a second game. And they've got the lead over the visiting LA Rams as that one's gone to halftime. Devin Singletary, a touchdown run in that first half. Lastly, let's get out to Jacksonville. See what's happening with the Jaguars at TIAA Bank Field. And it was the visiting Dolphins who were able to get the victory. 21-7, the final score. In the game you're watching, it's Deshaun Watson, who was the star of the first half. His guys have a three-touchdown lead as we're about ready to go into the second half. And to get you through it, we give it back to Brandon God. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. And the kickoff for Houston. The Steelers going to get the football first here, trailing on the scoreboard as we are back underway on EA Sports. Switzer now to return. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. At their own 25-yard line. The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. And that first half, one to forget really on both sides of the ball. They got to find some way to string something together here, don't they? Yeah, they're down big right now. So as you mentioned, trying to find something to string together, get some consistency, something sustained, maybe calm their whole team down and find a way to get back in this one. Yeah, because right now you're down big, you're being shut out. Let's see if this is the drive that kind of kickstarts them. Again, it's Connor. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Give them 14 on that one and a first down. A good carry and a first down by James Conner. And this Pittsburgh team is really hoping he's back in form because last year the entire Pittsburgh offense suffered without Ben Roethlisberger, quarterback. James Conner only 715 combined yards, but 2018, he was a Pro Bowl running back. Combined yardage that year, 1,470. They're open for 2018 James Conner in 2020. On first and 10 is Conner. And he goes across midfield and down into Houston territory. James Conner. And on the stop, Vernon Hargrave. To the 48-yard line. It's the pickup of three. Brings up second and seven. From just shy of midfield, Roethlisberger hitting Juju on the slam. And he's going to be taken down with another first down as the stop's made at the Texans' 37. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. Throwing now, Roethlisberger on first down. He's good. And this is caught. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. 36 yards on the play. They're still looking for their first touchdown of the game. And for a second, I thought they had it right there. By looking on the sideline, it's finally good to see nods of approval. It's a welcome sign of life that this offense needed. This is caught. And this will result in him losing yardage. Back to the three. It'll go as a loss on the play. Not what you need down here. It's going to be second and goal. At the three-yard line. Looking to throw again on second down. Roethlisberger. And he can't hang on. That's definitely going to be what he wishes he had back. Incomplete in the end zone. Well, coming into this one, we expected that this offense would have... And this will be caught by his big tight end, Ebron, for a Steeler touchdown. Touchdown, Steeler. A three-yard touchdown pass. And the Steelers are able to close the gap just a bit. That's a score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there's an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know where we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard, you don't get the score. A perfect combination of urgency, yet relaxed enough to get it done. Yeah. At their own 25-yard line. So here's the Texans offense now. They get set to start this third quarter. Their lead down from 21 to 14, but still sitting at a great spot. Up two scores here in the third quarter. Watson. 
Watson will bring up the Texans here first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll start with a handoff to Johnson. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Houston ball carrier. And they'll work from the 29 on second and six. Four yards on the pickup. So again, it's Johnson. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. The tackle made by Joe Hayden. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. Watson on target here to Fuller. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. To Will Fuller. Call that a very strong gain of 24. There's a good reception there by Will Fuller. And if you're looking for breakout players in 2020, he's a big-time candidate for it because he has a rapport with Deshaun Watson. And now with DeAndre Hopkins no longer in Houston, he could be their top receiver. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at Will. First down. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try to put the hammer down and finish this one off. They go to Johnson again. And not much. Maybe a yard down to the 23. The tackle made by Devin Bush. It's a gain of a yard, and it's third down. Throwing on third down, Watson. And that one incomplete. They try to sneak in a deep ball with the clock running down, but to no avail as time will expire on this third quarter of play. Steelers seven. Kaimi Fairbairn on for the field goal. A 40-yard attempt. Fairbairn able to put this one through. Good. And that'll push the lead up to 17. 24. Steelers 7. So with that, you figure yeah, this game's pretty much out of reach at this point. Yeah, it's going to take a heck of a comeback to come from three scores down. But don't change that channel. Don't go away. Miracles can happen. And you want to be here in case it does. You're a company man. Now, aren't I, though? at their own 25-yard line. Pittsburgh set to take over again on offense. And the complexion of this one has really changed a fair amount. That last field goal makes it a three-score game, so they need points in a hurry with time dwindling in the fourth quarter. Now a pass that's taken in by Smith-Schuster. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. First down yardage on the first play of the drive, giving 14. First and 10 at the So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Out of the gun, it's Roethlisberger. And he finds a man with a crossing route. Roethlisberger's pass. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll bring up a second in just about a few inches here. Second and inches at their 49-yard line. To throw again on second down. Roethlisberger, and he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. So a first and 10 now in Houston territory at the 46. Now Roethlisberger getting this one into the hands of Smith-Schuster. And a loose football, and the Texans scoop it. And they have possession, and they have it at the 38-yard line. And with that kind of a deficit, you can't afford to make any kind of mistakes. But it's been pretty symptomatic of what we've seen all game with them, isn't it? Down, down this big in the fourth quarter. Yeah, you'd say an afternoon to forget, absolutely. And he'll muscle his way up to the 43 for a pickup of right around five. The tackle made by Devin Bush. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Brings up second and five. And they'll keep it on the ground. It's Johnson. And he's going to take this one up only to about the 44-yard line. The tackle made by Devin Bush. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations. There'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. And with things looking pretty good on the scoreboard, they're going to keep the offense out there and go for it here on fourth. 
Going deep here for Stills. A battle for it, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Mike Hilton. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. At their own after the interception. Here's Roethlisberger. He's got this complete to Ryan Switzer. And he's out right at the 25. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive. 12 yards. 10 at the 25-yard line. Now Roethlisberger on first down. He'll get that one complete to Connor. And he'll be taken down by the face mask, it appeared. And yes, out come the flags. Face mask. Defense. So they'll take the yardage and tack on 15 more for the face mask. Talk about a play that absolutely costs you in the end. Just trying to do your job, right? Trying to get him on the ground. Next thing you know, they march up another 15 against your squad. It's a Pittsburgh first down, a gain of 13. Well, there's a catch by Juju Smith-Schuster, and he's hoping there's plenty more of that coming. 2019, not the year he expected. Lost his quarterback, Ben Roethlisberger, early. Dealt with a knee injury and missed four games, and his stats really fell. Just 552 yards through the air. But in 2018, what a big year he had then with Big Ben. 1,426 yards. He's hoping that the return of form of Roethlisberger leads to the return of form of himself. Throwing again on second down. Roethlisberger firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he's going to be taken down with another first down as the stop's made at the Texans' 17-yard line. So the Steelers with the football as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Open man completes it to Smith-Schuster. And he'll get seven yards from the 17 to the 10 before he's taken down. And that one finds the ground, breaking a string of five straight completions. And it brings up second down. No third, third down. And three yards. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. Back of the end zone, could he get his feet down? No, it's incomplete. A field goal obviously means nothing here. They're going to go ahead and go for it on fourth down. They're going on fourth down. It's Roethlisberger. And they hit him as he throws, as this one's going to go straight down to the turf. Incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And this Texans defense stands tall. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Oh, he's able to outmuscle him here as he pulls it in. Now the Texans will burn the first of their timeouts as they'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. He's letting this one go for Fuller. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Will Fuller was the intended target. And now it's second down. And Watson's going to throw it here. Similar to a shooter in basketball who just connected on the previous shot. They run another set for him on the next play. Now we had a guy who made the catch. They try to get the big one downfield, but came up empty. Yards to go. So now third and ten. A big play to start the drive, but nothing since. Faking the give. Now Watson. He finds his target. Fuller. Will Fuller. Nobody there to stop him. Touchdown, Houston. Touchdown, Houston. Will Fuller. His second touchdown on the season. And the Texans will extend their lead. Well, there's just about a minute left in this game, and they're still taking into the end zone. And you know they could have taken a knee there, but they decided to play this one all the way out. And I think their philosophy is, we're going to give you everything we've got. If we just go ahead and take a knee now, we're actually showing you disrespect that way, like taking pity on you. They're not about to do that to their opponent. And his kick is good. So that drive from four plays, and the result, a Houston touchdown.
Kaimi Fairbairn to kick off for Houston. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbairn now to kick it away. Fielded near the back of the end zone. And not willing to risk another fumble. He'll sit on this one. It's a touchback. The Steelers' offense now, they get ready to head back on the field. They've lost this one. Their offense has struggled. Do they try to put together something here at the end just to take into next week? Yeah, sometimes teams want to do that and coaches want to. I remember one time I was on a team and we were losing late in the game like this and you knew it was lost. It was over, right? And the coach called a running play and pretty much said to everyone, I want to see something executed well before we get out of here. And that was the message to the team. Just something to build on. Just something to build on, get it done, and maybe we can look at that and say, we'll get better as we go forward. 11 yards there, first down. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. Intended offense for them has been at a premium. You wonder where plays like that have been all game long. They're thinking the exact same thing themselves. But they're also looking forward now because now these plays are really for next week, trying to get some momentum going. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts as he'll stop it with 27 seconds showing on the clock. A couple of first downs on the drive already as he'll go from the 47 now on first down. Complete to Washington. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. 22 yards on the catch and run, a first down. How about a guy proving his worth in different ways? Had the big play in the run game to play before. This time, they go right back to him in the passing game, and he comes through with yet another big play. That's why you work out so hard in the offseason, so you can stay on the field and accumulate big plays. Now the Steelers use the second of their three timeouts as they get it with 16 seconds remaining on the clock. From the red zone now, here's Roethlisberger on first down. Under pressure, and he'll go down back at the 26-yard line. Now the Steelers going to use their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with 13 seconds left to play. And that one got tipped, kind of threw everything off. It brings up third. James Washington. Ninth play of the drive now on third and a country mile. And 20. From the gun, it's Roethlisberger looking for the end zone. And that will be incomplete. Four ticks left here on the clock. And no move to get the offense off the field. Despite failing once, they're going to go again here on fourth down. The ball popped in the air and intercepted. Picked off by Eric Murray. And that will write a finish to this ball game. So Houston going to come away here with the victory. And it was her defense that really paved the way to this victory as they allowed the one touchdown, and that was all she wrote. Almost want to do the defense chant right now, right? Defense with a couple of claps in there, but no one wants to hear that from me. Let's just talk about how they got it done, though. When you take care of every aspect of the game, shut down the run, control the airways, right? Make sure the quarterback is harassed. This is the type of performance you get. They can't fashion together any offense, no consistency, and they just took control. So for the Texans, it's back-to-back -back victories now after the week one defeat as they move to two and one. And they will head home next week to take on the Minnesota Vikings. Meanwhile, for the Steelers, they'll fall to one and two, and they'll try to rebound next week on the road in Nashville. So for Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon God. Next game, guess what? Charles and I will be here again. It's the NFL on EA Sports.